Hey, it's this off Mike. Welcome back to my channel and today this video is sponsored by or if you like powered by Tiger 111 HK. And this is the Cyma P90, but not just any old P90. It's the one with the alloy swordfish strike. So first off, I naturally have to say a huge thank you to Tiger111HK who got in contact with me and agreed to send one of these out to me for free to keep just to have a look at and give my initial thoughts. And I'm going to be honest with you from the get go. Ever since I started my channel, people were asking me, Mike, please, do a review on a P90, any P90, and I would not do it. I just refused because I always thought these P90s are some of the ugliest guns on the planet. But you know what? I'm kind of warming to them a little bit. And I don't really know if this sword fist strike thing here does it any justice. It just makes it even more uglier. But then I looked at it a bit more and then I thought to myself, this thing is so ugly, it's beautiful. <laughs> and then I realized I already have the perfect partner for this bad boy in my Airsoft Armory. Yes, the FN57. Now I know what the connection is. If you do, hit the comments section below. And it isn't just the fact that the people that make this in the real world also makes this. There's another important fact that connects this bad boy to this bad boy. If you know, hit the comment section down below, just for fun. So this is the iconic P90. Now, this particular one is made by Cyma. There are other manufacturers out there in the airsoft world that make these. Now, if you go for this particular version by Cyma, it will come with this mag. It's a high cap mag, but the capacity of this is neither here nor there because you've got this huge box mag right up there that works in conjunction with this mag. Now, a lot of what I'm gonna tell you today about this particular version by Cyma will also apply to other versions that you can get out there by other manufacturers. So the first thing I want to do is to separate this box mag so you can see it without it. Now, those of you who are already familiar with the P90 are probably more used to seeing something like this and a mag system like that. In fact, this is the norm. Now, this particular mag, although it is the mag that you would usually get with a P90 like this, this does not come with this package. I got this separately. But you do get this box mag, which holds 1,500 rounds. Now, the reason for me showing you this standard mag that you would usually get with a P90 is just to show you that just because this bad boy comes with this huge box mag, it doesn't mean it can't take your standard P90 mag. So let's just have a quick check to make sure this fits. There you go. Perfect. And I'm absolutely loving that it shows you the dummy rounds. Okay, so let's whip this off because it's not about this mag today. stick this box mag right back on and it's basically the same principle as the standard mag how this goes on and comes off so what makes this different well you can see straight away it does have this gruesome looking <laughs> alloy swordfish strike system on here looks like a meat tenderizer or a potato masher or as i'd like to call it ugly but it really does make it look awesome and gruesome at the same time. Another great thing about this particular model is that you are absolutely spoilt with rail space. You've got your 
long rail on the top right there and of course you've got one on the side which is matched on the other side but then if you look a little bit lower on either side of the almost hidden barrel <laughs> you've got another small rail system right here okay so let's get a little bit more up close and personal with this Simer P90 right here you have your fire selector switch and the thing I like about this is that whilst you're holding this airsoft weapon you can use your forefinger your trigger finger to manipulate your fire selector switch so right now it's in safe mode then you have your single shots and then you have your full auto now if I move you back towards the rear of this P90 you have your mag release and just like the real thing you would manipulate that on both sides so you literally pull it back and then you can release your mag now to put the mag back in it's pretty much a reversal now I personally would pull these levers back before trying to put the mag back in I know some people who will just slam their other hand down on top of the mag to put the mag back onto the P90 yes that may look tactical but I don't think it will do any good over a period of time so I would personally just reverse the system pull the mag release back slot your mag back in neatly but if you really must do that tactical thing slamming it down will also put it back in but I don't recommend that okay so as we continue to have a look around this pretzel sorry this P90 we have what you would have on the real deal too is your charging handle system right there it's not so much of a handle as such but it's right there doesn't do anything on this airsoft version but it's tactical and of course and be dexterous now just like its real counterpart there's not a lot of metal going on here it's a very futuristic bullpup compact weapon so on this particular airsoft version your metal components will be your entire rail system right here and that includes this section here in fact all of this included on the front and this section right here that's all metal and of course you've got your little elements your screws your pins and this mag release section right here is metal and of course your high cap mag is full metal now let's get to the battery compartment on this P90 it's right here you simply slide this off by pressing this button right here And there's your Tamiya. Now I have an 8.4 volt battery pack charged and ready to go but you can put a 9.6 in this bad boy and even though you may think there's not a lot of space there it really is deceiving you can put a big old pack right in there because you have all of this space down there to fill. I just love this whole complicated design and look the P90 has and then when you get one with a box mag which has a standard mag on it as well look you can even see it through there I just I'm just really I you know I said I hated this look I said this thing looks really ugly there's a side of me that still thinks that but it's growing on me so because this P90 has this sort of dual mag system going on here you have another mag release and that's for your standard mag right there and you'll find that right here you simply push that in and then you can release your mag now remember this mag right here the door on the top of this mag in fact let me just show you again because it's very important that you do this make sure that door is open then you open up this box mag and feed it with up to 1,500 BBs. And then how this works is your box mag will feed your standard mag. So what you do, if you just move it, you can actually hear the BBs falling into the mag. You hear that? <laughs> so once there's a few down there, you just wind your standard mag up as you would with a standard high cap magazine and just in case you're wondering the hop up adjustment can be found right there 
Okay, time for the shooting test. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim for... Let's go for these little ones up here, okay? We're going to make this hard for myself. So we've got zero A, B, C, D, and E. I'm going to put two shots in each. We'll see how we do. Take a note of the stats that are coming up on your screen now. Now, as you saw earlier, this is the FN57 family to the P90. Have you worked out yet what the other connection is between this bad boy and that bad boy? Well, I'll tell you right now, they take the same ammunition. Cool. Well, in airsoft, obviously, but in the real world, the same ammunition. Talk about an awesome pair. Anyway, that's beside the point. That's a standard size sidearm. Look at the size of this sidearm compared to these tiny targets. So you can appreciate how difficult, even though I'm not that far away from the target, the fact that these are so small makes it a good test for the accuracy on this Saima P90. Whoa, it's just dawned on me. Just about to do an accuracy test and I just realized something. What has this P90 not got? Correct. There's no sights, no built-in sights at all. But I'm doing an accuracy test. So let me pop a sight on right now. Let's do this. I, I, I still can't get used to this shape. <laughs> Oh, this looks pretty decent. With that hollow sight on, it gave me a much better chance. Now, obviously my first shot was off a little bit. Remember, these are really small. So I've got one shot there, one shot there. But as I got more used to it, as you can see there on zero B, I've got a shot right there, right above bullseye and one on the edge of the target. Then I've got another one right there on the edge of the target and right here, look, getting oh so closer to that bullseye. Then as we go to D, look at that, we are absolutely flanking that bullseye right there. But then we pretty much brought it home on target E with one shot being right there and the second shot, or that could have been the first of the two. Look, look, I'm going to claim that one right there. It's just off to the left of the bullseye. Okay, let's see what the chrono is saying. Now remember, this particular model came from Hong Kong. So pretty much I think we're going to be looking at anything up to about 370 FPS, which is just about good enough for the UK in terms of legal limits. But if you're in America and many other countries where you have higher legal limits, it's not an issue. But do remember, whenever you're ordering airsoft guns from abroad, Make sure you talk to the retailer about their downgrade services or whether they can at least supply a weaker spring if it's too strong. 369 355 364 354 362 351 357 358 that is pretty consistent now for gameplay purposes in the UK that's a little too hot not too much but a little too hot we generally have about 340 to 350 FPS limits especially if it's CQB other countries your FPS limits may be higher, some are lower, but in terms of legal FPS limits in law, forget about gameplay, in your country's law, for the UK, this is well within the legal limit. Okay, let's put this on full auto, 
and see what readings we get. Oh, very tasty, very snappy as well. As you can see there, we're looking at almost 11 rounds per second. That's flipping awesome. <laughs> For something bog standard in terms of the battery pack that I've put in there and an FPS of about 361. Oh and there's one other cool little feature I want to tell you about this trigger system right here. Now although I've got it on full auto, if you do a half pull of the trigger it does single shots, literally single shots. So watch, I'm going to pull the trigger halfway. See that? I've not released the trigger, so I'm not pretending that it's only done one because I would have pulled my finger off the trigger. No, my finger is still holding down that trigger. But then if I pull it in further, watch, it goes into full auto. Awesome! Let me show you that again. Half trigger pull. One shot. I've not released that trigger. So I can release it now if I want to and do another half trigger pull and look I've not released that trigger now I'm gonna pull the trigger fully full auto get in now I just want to show you something so that you can really appreciate how many rounds you can go through when using this in gameplay I've fired this quite a lot but this box mag will continually keep feeding this high cab mag down there. Now, I've got to do this carefully. I'm going to turn it upside down because it will have a habit of spitting out BBs if you take out this mag. Right, hang on. While there's loads of BBs still there. Now look, just to show you. There you go. All those BBs are falling out of this side of it. But look at the actual mag itself. The high cap mag. It's still full. It's continually being fed by this bad boy right here. So I've got to say thank you again to Tiger111. Thanks for sending this out to me. I'll be honest with you. I was never a fan of the P90. For years, I avoided it like I mentioned earlier. Now that one has just been sent to me for free, I still think they look a bit ugly, but I'm warming to it. I am genuinely warming to this whole concept of this thing and with that sword fish strike on the front it makes it look so gruesome I actually like it because it's different to anything else I've got in my airsoft armory now I know there's many fans of the p90 out there so if you like what you see please head down to the video description where you will see a direct link and you'll be able to see the price and order yourself one you won't regret it. It is so much fun and very compact too. So in this initial test, if I had to give it a score out of 10, at the beginning of the video, I would have said the looks would have got about two or three out of 10. The performance, for me, eight out of 10. But if we now fast forward to right now in the video, when I look at this thing, because it's so unique and different looking to anything else, that I own, I'm bumping that looks score bang right up to number eight as well. I am slowly turning into a P90 fan and I said turning into, meaning I'm not quite there yet, but I can see that I am gonna turn into one. It just took someone to send me one for free because I would have never have bought one. But now that I have one in my hands, I just might be a convert. I'm Airsoft Mike. As always, thanks for watching and thanks again to Tiger111. Good looking out. Thanks for hooking your boy up. I'll see you next time.